Hey everybody, it's Michael Goldsman here. In this video, I wanted to create a short clearing process for you that's going to help your subconscious to be able to resolve its habit of creating and attracting the same kinds of perhaps dysfunctional relationship scenarios that you may have been in the past, you may be in now. Many people are looking to change the type of relationship they attract, whether that's a romantic relationship or a block to romantic relationships, they don't, they're not attracting anyone, or it's a certain type of friendship, work relationship. They realize that there's a pattern of the type of relationship that they tend to attract or create, and they're wanting to break out of that. So from my perspective, there are many factors going on, but from my perspective as someone who facilitates karmic clearing work, one of the biggest factors that go into why we create or attract anything in life is really what is stuffed down within our own subconscious. That can be from this life, from birth till now, from conception to now. That can be from really an infinite soul's history. We each have an infinite soul's history, however you want to slice that, if you want to talk about past lives. We also um, have ancestral inheritance. We are inheriting not just the physical characteristics, but many of the energetic patterns from our ancestors. And so if we want to change something in life, like our point of creation or attraction around relationship, it's very wise and important to go into the subconscious. And so whatever it might be that you're trying to um, break free from so that you can attract and create that a more loving, respective, responsive, more in alignment with who you are now and what you are becoming, your highest and greatest yet to be, rather than some old hidden pattern. And this video is for you. So we all have relationship stuff to work on, so um, let's, let's look at that in this clearing. So I'm just gonna encourage you to get comfortable, get relaxed. You can put me, besides you don't have to be watching the video, perhaps, you don't have to be um, doing anything other than just hearing the sound of my voice. And I'm going to begin now bringing in uh, a facilitated energetic stream into this work. So I'm just going to ask to surround and protect all of those watching this video now with love, with light, with healing. We're going to ask for this work to be for the absolute highest and best good for each person watching and to be done in the free will choice of each person's higher intelligence. We're going to call in the higher intelligence. We're going to call in the angels, the guides, the spiritual teams. We're going to call in all levels, layers, bodies, and minds of each individual's consciousness. And we're going to ask to begin a clearing process now. We're going to ask to begin opening up and clearing surface blocks, initial blocks that we may have brought in to this work today. And just take a deep breath. You may feel um, that you're already noticing some energetic shifts. You may want to visualize that you're inhaling even the sound of my voice. That can help to kind of bring what would seem to be a remote video um, into more of your energy field. And don't worry, this work is all governed by your own higher consciousness. So it's not really me doing something to you. I'm just facilitating and holding a particular space. This is really between you and that higher aspect of yourself that knows where all the blocks are. It also knows the truth about you. It knows um, you before and above all of these old habits and patterns. So opening up the ancestral karma, opening up the past lives for each individual here, beginning to clear. We're asking to clear specifically relationship patterns, things that are unresolved in the soul's history that we may not even realize that we're holding on to. It could be something, if you're open to this idea, we could be holding on to a hurt from 10 lifetimes ago, or we could be holding on or representing a hurt that 50 uh, generations ago in our ancestry, that that was created there and passed down. So 
we don't necessarily know what these things are. We don't have to know what they are. We're just asking now for that higher intelligence of spirit to be brought in so that we can clear and resolve at the root, the root in the ancestry, the root in the past lives, the root might be in this lifetime. We're asking that all ripple effects, in other words, if we created something or had some effect, some experience 50 lifetimes ago, 100 lifetimes ago, there are all kinds of ripple effects that have moved throughout the lifetime since then. So we're asking for all of those to also be cleared up. All of the reasons, the relationships themselves, the karmic patterns, the need wanted, the desire, even the addiction, the identity we may be holding with relationship dysfunction, we're asking to resolve all of that now through infinite depths, levels, layers, bodies, minds, all realities, every factor known and unknown. Letting our immediate body-mind system physical body, our chakra system, our emotional body, our etheric body, our mental body, be able to really receive the impact of this work immediately. Now that may feel to you like tiredness, it may, you may feel a bit spacey or expanded, you may feel a sense of relief, a sense of release, you may feel actually a lot of emotions even coming up right now. You're processing something from the past that you didn't even know was there. So we're asking to clear up the trajectories of relationships for each individual here into the highest and greatest yet to be, the highest expression of the truth of who we are. We want to create relationships and attract relationships based on that rather than creating and attracting relationships based on old wounds, negativity, and old past patterns. We're asking to continue to clear, clearing any want, need, desire, or any recreation programs that we may be running that would cause us to jump right back into the old pattern, that would cause us to um, create more of what we don't want. We don't want that at all. Now we're asking again, finishing up old relationship business as much as possible. so that we can begin to come into a place of greater and higher attraction. Feel that within yourself. And notice that shift within you. Remember, all of the clearing work, karma clearing, spiritual clearing, really, whatever way we're talking about it, my way of doing it or someone else's, we're not talking about changing somebody else or something external to you. What we're talking about is changing consciousness, clearing consciousness so that you can be in more direct and immediate resonance with the higher truth of your being or the deeper truth of your being. The deeper truth, whether it's about relationship or any other topic, is that you and spirit are one and so therefore, when we realize that in consciousness, which clearing can help us to get there, when we realize that in consciousness, we are put in touch with that field of miracles. We're put in touch with that field of greater synchronicity, higher attraction. Um, it's not that God or something else was withholding it, uh, it from us before. It's just that we weren't quite tuned to it because of all this other stuff. Let's take a couple of deeper breaths, we're asking to finalize this clearing process. Mm. Just noticing. I know these videos are quick, but there can, don't underestimate the power of what they can be doing for you. Sealing the energy and making it permanent. I'm gonna invite you, now that we're coming to the end of this process, to just Take your hands, perhaps place them over your lower abdomen or place a hand onto the opposite knee and just take a couple of deep breaths. You can stay in this expanded space as you would like to. Uh, you can also just begin to feel that it's complete at this moment and you can come back to a place of being grounded. 
Now the question is, once the clearing has begun to happen, yes, there can be many levels and layers of clearing. That's why I offer through my website ongoing clearings on all of these various topics over the course of many months and years, because there can be different ways of approach. There can be different depths that your soul becomes ready to clear now versus a month from now versus a year from now. But um, what I always encourage is to notice the shift that has taken place within you just by watching this video. You may have felt nothing. You may have felt something subtle. You may have felt something major. Each person is going to respond differently depending on your unique situation and your unique um, sensitivity to energy. But from this place of clearing, take an inventory of yourself. Just notice, oh, what's possible for me now? What do I feel open to? What do I feel some relief around, less struggle around that I may have before this video, I may have come into this video and it's, it's just feeling, feeling really off for me, but now I'm feeling like, ooh, something I can't quite place is feeling shifted within me. And you really want to focus on that. The more you learn how to tune into and read your own consciousness, the more that these inner subtle shifts are going to be more and more meaningful to you. And you will know that from that place, you're now more aligned with synchronicity consciousness, miracle consciousness, God consciousness, and therefore what you create and what you attract from this point is going to be better. So I've said a lot here, and there can be many, many more hours of discussion about this topic. If you have questions, comments, please post below this video. Or if you want to connect with me or more in-depth work on this, go to my website, clearingconnect.com. You can connect with me there or see greater depth to the clearing processes that we've started today. Beautiful friends, thanks for joining me today. Peace and blessings.